Welcome back to our CNC tutorial series. Today, we're diving into the world of plane selection with G17, G18, and G19. These G codes might seem a bit abstract at first, but they're fundamental when it comes to 3D machining. Let's get started. First up, we have G17, which selects the XY plane for circular interpolation. Essentially, it instructs the machine to interpret any subsequent circular motion commands, like G02 or G03, in the XY plane. This is the default plane for most CNC machines. When you start a new program, your machine is already in G17 mode, unless otherwise specified. In this G-code line, the CNC machine makes a clockwise arc in the XY plane from the current position to the point, X50, Y0, with a radius defined by the offsets, I25, J0. Next, we have G18, which selects the ZX plane. When G18 is active, any circular motion commands will be executed in the ZX plane. In this G-code line, the machine makes a clockwise arc in the ZX plane from the current position to the point, X40, Z0, with a radius defined by the offsets, I20, K0. Lastly, we have G19, which selects the YZ plane. When G19 is active, any subsequent circular motions will be interpreted in the YZ plane. In this G-code line, the machine makes an anti-clockwise arc in the YZ plane from the current position to the point, Y40, Z0, with a radius defined by the offsets, J20, K0. Understanding G17, G18, and G19 is key to 3D machining. By setting the plane, you're telling your machine how to interpret the instructions that follow. While you might not use these codes every day, they're vital tools in your G-Code toolkit. That's all for this video on plane selection. In our next episode, we'll delve deeper into more G-Code commands. Until then, keep practicing and continue learning. Happy machining!